Okay, so the Pursuit Rework just came out, and we are about to test it here. Let's place it down. Here it is. The Pursuit Tower, right here. So, it has a V-Target ability. Let's see what that does. Okay, so, it still kind of just follows enemies. It, it pursues them now, but you can V-Target where you want it to be doing that with the ability. Okay, so that's how it works. That's how it works. Um, let's see what this upgrade does. It gives it lead detection and things. So it specializes in a uh, lead detection on early levels and really high damage while also having map range pretty much. Uh, this path gives it pretty much more range and some more damage. We're gonna get missiles on level 3. So that is real nice. And now we actually have the dual upgrades now. So that is super nice to see. Let's retarget it over to here. So I can actually start hitting stuff over here, but anyways, let's see, which one of these do we want to get? So, I've heard that the top path focuses on single target, while the bottom path focuses on splash, and we kind of need splash right now. So let's get the splash upgrade. Okay, so, it doesn't have hidden detection on the bottom path, but on the top path, it does. So the top path may end up being the better path, but it, it is only hidden detection at that level, so you know how it is. Wow. Okay, so let's put it over here. It is doing about uh, 55 DPS right now, which isn't that good, but it does have the missiles. And it, the main thing here is the missiles, so, you know. Uh, if I put it over here, it still gets the uh, DJ buff, which is really nice as well. Which means I probably should have put the pursuit like over here or something, honestly. Because I could, I could just be targeted to anywhere I want, pretty much. Yeah, I could, I could run at the end of the map if I wanted to. But let's upgrade this now. I, I clicked the wrong button. I clicked the wrong button. Um, yo, my bad, my bad. Yeah, so... Wait, what is the... It says Z is the upgrade keybind. That's my cell keybind. That's why I got confused. Okay, I guess I need to change my cell keybind then if I want to use the pursuit more. But... Here we have even better missiles, so let's try to get that upgrade. I would have had it by now if I didn't uh, accidentally sell my pursuit, but <laughs> you know how it is. Yo. Okay, wait, let me turn on two times speed. Um, okay, so now let's upgrade it without the keybind this time. What if I set it to like random? Is it just gonna start tweaking out? Okay, so that does help it a lot more in doing kind of splash damage. As you can see, it's just shooting the missiles everywhere, and that did actually clear a lot of the stuff. So, setting the bottom path on random seems like a good option if you just want specifically crowd control, to be honest. But now, let's get the top path over here. And put this, like, I don't know, over here or something. Uh, I'll put this one over here as well. So, let's see. Let's get the top path now. So... It has a lot more single target DPS as expected. It has a few missiles, but not as much ammo. Wait, I didn't realize this thing has ammo. What the heck? Okay, so it is gonna have to reload occasionally. I don't get why they keep adding ammo to towers, like with the commando and stuff. Maybe ever since the Gatling gun, they were just like, oh yeah, that's a mechanic. We should give that some more stuff. I mean, I don't know why they did that, but you know. It doesn't really affect the bottom path, though, because it was still shooting the missiles even when its ammo ran out, so that's nice. Um, How much DPS is that? With the uh, DJ? Hold on. 30.8 divided by 0 0.08. 385 DPS. It can get buffed by supports, so... That's really good. Wait, what's the placement limit on this? Wait, so... This thing does about... Um, what is its base DPS? Hold on, I'm trying to calculate it. No, wait, let me try to calculate it with Commander. So if we added Commander to that, hold on, hold on. What is 10% of 385? That's 38.5. So it's about, it's doing about 350 DPS at base. 350 DPS at base times about like... This thing can do up to 600 DPS on top path. Am I calculating that right? That doesn't sound right. That sounds really OP. There's no way it's that OP. What? Wait. How many of these can you place down? 
Oh my god. Five. So you could have five 630 DPS things if you include the DJ buff and the commander buff. That is a total of 3,000 DPS. That is really high. That is really darn high, I tell you. Let's move this to over here, though. And move this to over here. Wow. Okay, so this thing has a crap ton of DPS. Okay, and it also has map range. So, the fact that this has lead detection as well seems really OP for uh, solo hardcore. So, solo hardcore just got a lot easier with this thing. Because, of course, it has flying detection, which obviously makes sense. It has hidden detection at the top. But oh, that's the bad thing about it. it. It doesn't have hidden detection for solo hardcore. But you can still use it in the late game. Dang. Okay, so let me max out this other one. Put the helicopter like over here with the other ones. I do need to get it to uh, the top path. I honestly think top path is a lot better because the DPS is way higher. I mean, of course, this one has missiles. The splash damage is really good. I guess you could have like one... Uh, Yeah, I think, uh, let's set this to last to get those breakers. Let's see how good it get does against the breakers. Okay, that is a lot of missiles, actually. If I knew the missile DPS, maybe I could kind of calculate that better. Oh, that is a lot of splash DPS. Wait, look at that. Oh, I just annihilated those, yeah. Okay, so the bottom path is a really good crowd control option, though. I do think top path is going to be better just because, I mean, let's be honest, single target damage is the meta in this game. Okay, so, hold on, I want to calculate how much DPS this actually has, though. So, it has eight missiles, it, had, it does 60 damage each, 60 divided by about, hold on, 0. 0.15 times 7, okay, so 1 plus 4, hold on, I'm calculating the DPS, 60 times 8, 480 divided by 4.5. Okay, so the bottom path has about 100 splash DPS. I don't know if that can be buffed with supports. If that can be buffed with supports, the bottom path might be... To be fair, they're both for different uses. But I'd say top path does look generally better than the bottom path. The bottom path is kind of just like... You just kind of want one of them. So then you could, you know... You kind of just want one of them to be dealing splash damage. While the rest are top path for DPS. But, that is the Pursuit rework. I am going to just finish this game now. So let's get like an engineer here. Having map range is really good though. Having map range, I will admit, is insanely good. You do have to micro it. So not a lot of players might like that, but that is insanely good. Okay, let's get more engineers or we're gonna die. Here, look. If, if this thing starts getting kind of dangerously thing, I could just... What stunned it? Wait, do the missiles stun? Wait. Wait, what, what was stunning that stuff? Is it... Wait, I have no clue what was... Huh. Something is stunning. That stuff was getting stunned. That was a fallen tank too, I don't think that can get... Stunned usually, what was going on? Is it whenever I do this? I got no clue what just happened. Did you guys see that too? I could have sworn someone was just getting stunned. What the heck is going on there? Okay, well anyways. It's the missiles, I think. Look at that. Oh wait, am I just lagging? I think I might just be lagging. Wait, am I lagging or are the missile stunning? I can't tell. Was it a visual bug? I don't know. Okay, wait. Let's uh turn on two times speed. Yeah, I think I might just be lagging. Okay, I don't think they stun. 
Do they? Yeah, no, I'm lagging, I'm lagging. Okay, so missiles don't stun. I'm just lagging. Uh, we deal with flying really easily. I wonder why. Uh, let's get all of our cowboys maxed out. And then we'll start getting everything else maxed out. And we should be able to win this pretty easily with this new rework. Uh, let's put more of them, like, here. That sounds pretty good. We could cover it from the start to the end here. Okay. Yeah, th this rework seems really good. You don't have to deal with the really bad targeting of Pursuit anymore, which was kind of what was holding it back. So now, this looks like it'll be one of the best towers in the game. The only thing it's missing is stealth detection. But who cares, bro? Who cares if it doesn't have hidden detection? Like, this is still gonna be definitely one of the best towers in the game now. It just does so much DPS. You have some good crowd control on it as well. It literally functions as two tower slots. When you think about it that way. And just because it has multipath upgrade as well. It literally can function as two towers. Yeah, this is definitely going to be one of the most OP towers in the game for sure. Yeah, damn. Okay. Well, let's get... I hope we see some more uh, dual path towers in the future because of this. That would be really nice to see. But it is kind of game breaking because you could just have two towers in one. It is pretty game breaking to have that, but... If we could see more towers like that in the future, that'd be really nice. So let me get my rangers up now. Yeah, damn, dude. That's really OP. This, uh... Oh, I kind of placed that bad. I can't get another here. Oh, well. But yeah, the Pursuit V-Work seems really darn OP from what I'm seeing right now. Like, holy cow. I might... I think I'm going to replace this splash damage one. Uh, once we get to the final wave, just so we have more Fallen King DPS, I am going to sell a cowboy to get another ranger up. And now we're maxed out. So we can switch this to red. Red is definitely the play here because this has infinite range. This doesn't even get affected by the buff. You kind of just want red so then it can build its sentries faster. And then this has infinite range as well, pretty much. So... Okay, uh, let's move them all to here for now. Dude. Okay, I'm gonna give this on random to initially take out the hordes. But, once we get rid of the hordes, I am going to set it to, uh, first. The first path. Let's see how quickly we can kill the Fallen King. Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna try to use the defense mill. Are they gonna die before I can even defense mill them? Oh, there we go. Okay, defense mill. Uh, come on, we want we want this helicopter to start thing. Uh, let's move them all to here. Okay, we moved all of our helicopters to that area. We just wanna keep them on all of the enemies. I mean, to be fair, the top path still can do some explosive. It's not as good as the bottom path, of course. But, oh my goodness, okay. We're not using commander, so our kill is probably going to be slower, but... Okay, wait, let, let's change this to the top path, change this to the top path. You see, the interesting thing about the pursuit is you can place it anywhere in this support range, and it'll still have map range. Like, you could place it all the way over here if you really wanted to. And you can still have map range, so that seems really OP. Yeah, look at that. We're actually killing him super fast. Because this is also stun immune. The pursuit is really OP. Now that you don't have to deal with the really horrible targeting anymore. I mean, this isn't my fastest kill because I'm not using commander. But if we were using commander instead, wow. Look at that. Yeah, the Pursuit. Definitely gonna be one of the best towers in the game now. Wow. So there you have it. There's the Pursuit rework. 
Bottom path has pretty good splash damage. Top path has really good single target damage. Definitely going to be one of the best towers in the game now. Because it can be two types of towers. A splash or a single target boss damage. It has infinite range. It has stun immunity. It is just... It, it has lead detection on level 1. It has flying detection on level 1. The only thing it is missing is hidden detection. And... It has a lower placement limit now. It's not 10 anymore, it's 5, but I'm going to be honest with you guys, that is a good thing. Because you have to place less of them. Meaning, your tower limit over here, down here, you see that? You're not filling up as much space. I don't get why people say a higher placement limit is good. No, it is not. Because you can also take up less space on the map, which means you can fit more of your stuff into support units. Without having to worry, I'm telling you, a smaller placement limit is just better. But, that is the Perceive Rework. Thank you for watching. Peace out.